I get a lot of questions about the um, effect match palette and I'm going to show you how to use this to help control colors in your images and how to get instant color palettes also because you're always asking how do you get that color how do you choose it well a lot of artists just choose other artists colors and use their palettes so you have a fold a file in your student resources it's separate from the image files and it's called brushes 8x10 and I put it in there separately so it would pop out at you and after you've downloaded that and opened it you see it's pretty generic looking uh, image and I've opened up something I've saved from the internet by an artist named Allison and this is actually a collage and it's very interesting it has a lot of texture but mostly I just loved her colors I thought this was really cool so I want to paint the brushes with these colors more of these so I'm going to go to effects tonal control match palette I'm going to for the source I need to be sure that it's set on this image Allison and um, there it is Allison JPEG okay color may have started down here when you first open this put it all the way up to 100% make sure the amount is up to 100% the other settings I have I don't want to make it any brighter and I don't want to change how much I'm using of each which is the variance I'm gonna go okay and look at the difference in this look at the it's going to paint up beautiful but this is undo match palette this is redo match palette I'm gonna open up the underpainting I'm already set on the Mare Messier brush I've already got smart stroke painting clicked and smart settings I must 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 click off the image or else come on image click oh I didn't quick clone it <laughs> first quick clone it then turn your image off so you don't see it and I'm going to click OK and I'm gonna let this painting go ahead and start painting and this is how it will look in the beginning and then I'm going to stop here I'm gonna let it finish painting and I'm gonna open it back up painted but this is how it's going to start painting some of you wanted to see how it actually looks I'm not gonna to touch my tablet until I'm ready for it and I'll show you the painting in a second so this is the image we started with to do the underpainting and it took over five minutes maybe about seven minutes but this is the final underpainting so comparing this to her image what we're matching the palette with you can see that it's picked up all these colors but there's one more step you still have to do you need to go to effects tonal control equalize and go OK and do you see the difference let me do undo equalize and redo equalize I mean it totally just matches every color in her palette now and we can go in and we could play with this and we could pick colors from her palette here and go ahead and use them to paint in here and add a little bit more take it off of there so we could be painting a little bit more in here and the next step that we could do I'm going to show you in the next video but this is basically how you go ahead and you use the match palette and then you can pick up colors from their palette and you can still be painting with them let's add a little bit more of that in there and let's go ahead and get that that neat blue over here and let's put a little bit of that in there blend them up a little bit and now let's blend them into the original color there so there isn't so much showing it's not quite so strong so we layered on a couple of different colors there okay terrific we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show you the next things that you can do with the match palette